The other thing about Lawrence is um, their chamber and their economic development efforts. Um, it, and it's like this, you know, if I go back and forth, I think some w in places we're ahead of the curve, some places they're ahead of the curve mm -hmm. on doing different things. Yeah. Um, but um, I think some of the, the efforts in terms of developing, um, you know, the workforce, I think that mm -hmm. they've really pushed out there. And I'm really impressed with what I'm seeing there. And I think that's critical, you know, in this environment, mm -hmm. if you're trying to bring in uh, you know, different op uh, business opportunities into a community. They're looking at that workforce element, and so Lawrence has kind of stepped out there and done that. Um, maybe, you know, maybe we've done a little bit more in terms of affordable housing, mm -hmm. and so, you know, from that standpoint. But see, I think all of those things are interconnected. Yeah. And, and so that's one of the messages that I've tried to convey to the council there and, and to the press when I talk to them and to the, to the uh, public, that you know, they aren't mutually exclusive. Mm -hmm. They're all kind of linked together. And so when you, you, know, you work on those issues, the whole thing is to, you know, if, if you have somebody that's in a homeless condition, how do you get that person to be a member of you know, the society mm -hmm. again? And, to be a productive uh, individual in the community. And, you know, it isn't just about providing a place to put that person. It's about creating an opportunity for that person to move up, you know, the economic chain. We don't want to just have people stuck in that particular. Mm -hmm. If you can get people to, you know, move up because of job opportunities, and 